We are following breaking news right now. Police are on the scene of a barricade situation in East Baltimore. It's on East Chase Street. That's not too far from Johns Hopkins Hospital. Our Aaron McPherson is there. Aaron, what can you tell us right now? Well, this is still a very active scene. It has been since late last night. Now, this is East Chase Street in East Baltimore, and where we are standing right now is actually on North Broadway, but they have two blocks blocked off here with police tape. It's the actual townhome that they are around is on McDonough Street and East Chase Street, and here you can see a SWAT vehicle in the distance, and there are several SWAT crews uh, standing outside one of the townhomes here, and we have heard that them call repeatedly for someone named Jeff to come to the window or a door to talk with them. They said they wanted to make sure they're OK. Uh, all we know right now is that this is a barricade situation since late last night, and they've repeatedly called for an individual named Jeff trying to check in on him, asking him to come to the front door or to the window just to talk, saying to come out into the fresh air, that there are people here that can help him. So we are still waiting to learn some more information, but that is what we've been seeing here on the scene. This SWAT team has been standing by and this has been a very active situation since late last night. These two streets are blocked off. They aren't affecting any major roads in the area, but it actually Chase Street is blocked off from North Broadway past down to McDonough. So if you are in the area or need to come through this area, try to avoid this particular block, but not, none of the major roads connecting are really impacted right here. But uh, SWAT actively on scene. We have reached out to Baltimore police waiting for more information, trying to get exactly what's going on here, but we do know right now that there is a, a barricade situation here in East Baltimore, and uh, we will update you with any information as soon as we get it. Reporting live from East Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR2 News.